floats on water and it carries things. Good. Um, what things do you see on a boat? Dominic. People. What else? Mason. People. Eden. You can see paddles on a boat sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, Colin. Cargo. Cargo, yeah, on some boats. Um, what would you use a boat for? <laughs> Transportation. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Fishing. Fishing. Anybody else? Tina. Vacation. Vacation. <laughs> um, what are boats made of, and are they all made of the same thing? Anybody else? Aluminum. <laughs> Aluminium. <laughs> Austin. Austin Meyer. Fiberglass. Okay. Anything else? Jonah. Aluminum. Okay. <laughs> so there, are they all made of the same things? No. Um, is there one design for a boat that's better than the other? Yeah. Depends yeah. on what you were doing. What do you mean, Dina? Like there's wakeboard boats, there's fishing boats, there's a yacht, there's a cruise boat. Flexing. Oh. Okay. At your guys' tables that you're at right now, I want you guys to get into groups of like four or one five. Of, yeah, one of four. Or one of five. So get into groups of four, one group of five. Some materials up here. We have paper plates, we have cups, we have um, coffee filters, construction paper, cardboard. Think of different ways you can make your boat. Go. <laughs> Grab your guys' materials. One person. We can we only take one of each material? No, you can take more than one. Do not take them all. Do not what? Do not take them all. But you can take more than one. You're close. What do you mean, what? Water stay. In the bucket. In the bucket, that's right. Do not splash your friends. Do not. Get it all over the tables or on the floor. Keep it in the bucket, okay? Good. So now you guys are gonna have about three minutes. Three minutes? Three minutes to construct your boat. And no testing during this time. You can only build it. Go. Three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Go, You're not supposed to be testing. Follow the rules. Call in. Please don't touch our boat. No, falls in the rack. Thank you. Sorry. Foul play. As soon as I heard start making boats, I just got <laughs> Look how cute. Doesn't have to be pretty, but it's so fun. Guys, our boat is probably the worst right now. Okay, you know what, Joe? You're not even help us then. I'm videoing. Yeah, the bunch of groups that are. Jonas Don't ask. We don't have like tape or anything else. Here we go. Make a nice fiberglass boat, Austin. Okay. And they're already it's uh, folded in this way, so it goes in like this. Okay. So no water can actually get in. All corners are sealed, so we should be good. Wow. Okay. Word. Cardboard floats. Nice piece of cardboard. Thanks, buddy. It's my boat. Oh. I'm on a boat. Oh, well, my goodness. <laughs> oh, no. It's not too heavy, right? No. It's got a sun roof on it. Yeah, and paper clips. Did you think about that in your brain? What? You come up with that in your brain? My third grade teacher did. Oh, I'm going to say. That's the third grade.
concentration. <laughs> it looks like a taco. Oh, you're not a part of this group. <laughs> you hated our Go boat. Go find a new group. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> taco, nacho, body We don't want you anymore. I cracked a, boat, a hole in our boat. No! This guy. <laughs> Now, there's going to be two criteria for your boats to meet. The first one is going to be, can it float in the water? Then the second one is going to be, how many pennies or paper clips can your boat hold? So we're going to come around and pass those out. I think ours is going to do well. Oh, do you? You're not a part of our group. <laughs> what if we already have paper clips on our boat? Do those ones count? No. Here, go put our boat in the... Yes, yeah, so you can put it in the water to see if it flows. Woo! We've passed the first criteria. I got a photo, guys. Yeah. Why? I like this. Oh, I dropped one yeah, in the water. Yeah, because we have a good boat. Like we're gonna, we're gonna win. Oh. We're gonna win too. Put all of them. They're not starting, right? I'm starting. Jesus, really? Again? How long? Are directions? Did anyone start? Yeah. You guys need to be more clear. <laughs> Anna, you can't do that. I don't think we're going to need a lot of them. Yeah. Do you have Yeah, you can add both of them as long as you know how many of each you have. <laughs> I think our boat was the best boat. I think we have about roughly 40 pennies. We have 56. Well, we didn't even get that many. <laughs> we need more. Okay. Jonah. Everybody sit down. Go down. Pick your boats. Just let your boats float. That's fine. We had three phones in there. <laughs> And it's wet though. Yeah, because Austin's phone <laughs> sunk it. <laughs> In your groups, we want you to discuss what you think made your boat successful in floating or being able to hold a lot of weight. In your groups, discuss in your groups. Um, uh, what changes would you guys make? Nothing. Higher walls. Higher walls on your on like your boat. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anybody else make any changes? We said we'd put cardboard on the bottom of ours. Okay, why? To make it sturdier. Okay. Um, okay, now we're going to move in to something else. Um, in your small groups, we want you guys to discuss um, what criteria you would make if you were to be like the teacher in this um, activity. Do you think the criteria was too easy? Do you think you could make like stuff more heavier? You use heavier objects? Um, maybe limit materials. Discuss what you guys would do. <laughs> you could give them like a certain amount of money and have the materials cost a thing, so then they have to like, that would limit their materials and they get a little bit of math. <laughs> you could assign each group of material to like show them what, how it works. Like, obviously one is going to float and like some aren't, so. More weight. Sheets that we passed out, and once you're done, take your boats out of the water and put your materials on a desk so we can come by and grab what we want. Can we count how much we 